On today's show, we will be making money in the Canadian energy sector, so grab yourself a brew and we will start right now. The first part of 2021 was not great for Canada's energy sector, as it was still feeling the effects of the massive drop in energy demand that resulted from the illness and the shift towards working from home or the lockdowns. The West Texas Intermediate, or WTI, which is the price of the New York Mercantile Exchange WTI crude oil futures contract, dropped into the negatives. Holy banana bread. This is something that does not normally happen. As we moved into the second half of 2021, restrictions were easing and the economy was beginning to open back up. The energy sector began to rebound as people returned to doing the things they used to do before the illness. Energy was being consumed again, and the prices of stocks within that sector began to show it. The end of 2021 was a huge year for the Canadian energy sector, and the good news for investors is that it is not going to stop in 2022. Canada's annual forecast for this year projects over 6,000 wells to be drilled and more than 7,000 new jobs within the sector. Interestingly, Canada's rig fleet is not going to grow and will in fact retire another eight rigs over 2022 keeping our total amount of rigs under 500. Overall, this is very positive for the sector. Oil prices are going up, and that once negative WTI has moved to highs not seen since 2014. The Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion is well underway, and the Enbridge Line 3 replacement is up and running. This is great news for Canada, and more specifically for Alberta, where those new jobs are going to see workers from the east heading west once again. The biggest concern for the sector may just be filling those jobs. When it comes to investing within the energy sector, there are a lot of options to suit different investment styles. We are going to look at some of the choices we have based on some of the different investing styles. We will begin with the growth stocks. First up, we have Canadian Natural Resources Limited with a ticker of CNQ. They are one of the largest oil and natural gas producers in Western Canada. They have 11.5 billion barrels of oil equivalent or BOE in reserve, which is fantastic and sets them in the right direction for great growth over 2022. A few more of their fundamentals include a PE ratio of 13.1, a dividend yield of 3.6% paid out quarterly. In the last six months, their share price rose from $42 to $65 for a 55% return on investment. A very solid stock to have in a growth portfolio. Up next, we have Imperial Oil, who has a ticker symbol of IMO. They are one of Canada's largest integrated oil companies. They have 5.2 billion BOA in reserve and are poised for good growth in 2022. Now, when it comes to their fundamentals, we have a P.E. ratio of 65.4, a dividend yield of 2.1%, also paid out quarterly. In the last six months, their share rose from $34 to $51 for a 50% ROI. A pretty solid stock to have in a growth portfolio. The only concern is that their P.I. ratio is a little on the high side. Our next growth stock is Vermilion Energy with a ticker of VET. They are an international oil and gas company with an emphasis on exploration and production in North America, Europe, and also Australia. Most of their revenue comes from the production and sale of petroleum and natural gas. A few more of their fundamentals include a PE ratio of 4.2. They do not have a dividend. However, in the last six months, their share price rose from $9 to $19 for a 110% return on investment. A very, very nice stock to have in a growth portfolio. Now, let's look at some of our better dividend stocks. Up first, we have Enbridge with the ticker symbol of ENV. They are one of the better known Canadian companies in the energy sector. They are blue chip as their reach expands into Canada and the US with pipelines, oil sands, natural gas, and a growing renewable energy effort, mostly in the form of wind farms, hope to see. A few more of their fundamentals include a PE ratio of 18.4. Their quarterly dividend has a generous 6.6% yield. In the last six months, their share price rose from $48 to $52 for a rather small ROI. However, these stocks are more about the passive income and the overall blue chip stability. They are a good addition to your dividend portfolio. 
Next, we have Suncor with a ticker symbol of SU. They are another of the better known Canadian companies in this sector. They are also blue chip as their reach expands into Canada and the US as well as the North Sea. They mostly produce bitumen, synthetic crude and conventional crude. In addition to this, they have a solid amount of oil sands production. A few of their fundamentals include a PE ratio of 22.2. Their quarterly dividend has a solid 4.7% yield. In the last six months, their share price rose from $26 to $36 for a return on investment of 38%. This is not bad for a blue chip dividend stock. They are a good addition to your dividend portfolio. Our final dividend stock is Freehold Royalties with a ticker of FRU. They are a little different as they acquire oil and gas royalties. Most of their royalties are with Western Canadian companies. A few of their fundamentals include a P.E. ratio of 41.2. Their monthly dividend has a solid 5.6% yield. In the last six months, their share price rose from $12 to $13 for an ROI of 8%. This is not bad for a dividend stock. They are not a bad addition to your dividend portfolio. For the most part, royalty stocks are okay, but I do like to keep my eye on them just in case, though honestly, I do that to any non-blue chip stock. We will now look at a few Canadian energy sector ETFs. The first one is the BlackRock iShares SMB TSX Capped Energy Index ETF, which has a ticker of XEG. This ETF tracks the SP Energy Index with a goal of maximizing capital growth. When it comes to growth over the last six months, XEG grew from $8.10 to $12.50 for an ROI of 54%. Now, interestingly, they were priced at $6.20 a year ago, and that makes a yearly ROI of 101%. With growth like this, it is an ETF to pay attention to. Their management fee is 1.5% and definitely worth it for the results. Another great ETF is BMO S&P TSX Equal Weight Oil and Gas ETF with a ticker symbol of ZEO. <laughs> This is an ETF that replicates the Selective Equal Weight Canada Oil and Gas Index. In the last six months, they had solid growth going from $40.40 to $52.05 for an ROI of 30%. In addition to that, they also have a quarterly dividend yield of 2.9%. Their management fee is 0.61%. Overall, not a bad ETF to throw in your portfolio. Our final ETF is the Horizons S&P TSX Capped Energy Index ETF, which has a ticker symbol of HXE. This ETF replicates the performance of the S&P Toronto Stock Exchange Capped Energy Index. Over the last six months, this stock grew from $14.8 to $24 for an ROI of 62%. A year ago, they had a share price of $11.00. So that is a huge 118% ROI over the last year. Amazingly, their management fee is only 0.27%. Another absolutely great growth ETF. 2022 is really looking to be a great money-making year in this sector. Of course, you shouldn't ignore other sectors as diversification is still the order of the day. Also, be sure to do your own research on these stocks as I am not a financial advisor and present these as the start of your research. Your financial advisor is the end. If you like this channel, then please consider joining our free newsletter linked below. And if you are looking for a way to support what I do, then there is also a Patreon link down there as well. On your way out, if you wouldn't mind clicking the like button and subscribe if you like this sort of content, Clicking on the notification bell will take it one step further so that you'll get notified whenever I drop a new video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I will bid you a fond adieu.